Right, so last week, we published our review of this laptop right behind me, the Dell J15 Ryzen Edition, the 5515 model. To cut straight to the point, when we first got the laptop, we were really hyped about it. But by the end of our review, we were left slightly disappointed, mainly because of the poor thermal performance. But since then, Dell has released a BIOS update, a really important one, and that changes everything. To recap, when we were reviewing the laptop, while performance was good, the thermals weren't that great. In any other mode apart from the game shift mode, where or we call the G mode, the CPU would simply stay at 100 degrees Celsius under any form of extended workloads. Only when you do turn on the G mode does the CPU temps drop to a slightly more comfortable mid-90s. So here's the fix. You have to do at least one or two things, depending on your situation. First up is very simple. Download and install the latest BIOS from Dell's website. Don't worry, for those of you who are new to updating BIOS, Dell has made it very simple. All you have to do is make sure you have the laptop plugged in, run the BIOS update and just wait. It's all automatic. Now once that's done, you're actually pretty much good to go. Previously, as we've mentioned, if you run any workload like a game, which you'll be doing a lot of, the laptop could only achieve temps in the mid-90s should you use the G mode. In any other mode, it's 100 degrees Celsius all the way. It doesn't throttle in clock speeds and is still within spec, but it is 100 degrees Celsius nonetheless. However, with the new BIOS update, no matter which performance profile you choose, the CPU will now hover in the mid-90s at most. This is awesome, and how Dell achieved this was basically a tweak to both the performance and fan profile. Previously, the CPU was able to draw up to almost 1.3 volts and up to a constant 45 watts of power in any of the performance profiles. And because of how gentle the auto-managed fan profile was, the CPU simply stays at a constant 100 degrees Celsius. But with this new BIOS on any of the profiles except G mode, the CPU has a soft cap of about 35 watts of power and with slightly lower voltages. So if that's it, you might now be thinking that performance might be hampered. But the truth is, well, not at all. In the very same games that we tested before, we were pretty much getting the same frame rates. CSGO, PUBG, Apex, Battlefield, Shadow of Tomb Raider, you name it. Exact same test, exact same settings, very similar frame rates. To note, the fans also kick in earlier now, at around 80 plus degrees Celsius or so, which is very great. So now you can game without worry and expect similar performance to before, with very similar fan noise levels but at a much more comfortable temperature. But if you want the best CPU performance, you can still get it, it's still available. All you have to do is turn on G mode. It will then allow the system to push 45 watts to the Ryzen 7 5800H with the fans at maximum speed. This is exactly like before, so temperatures are going to be okay and you're going to get the most out of that CPU. So like I said at the end of our previous review, well, Dell could pretty much fix this via software alone and that they did. It's just a BIOS update and it pretty much fixed everything, so that's awesome. But there's also one new feature that you can expect from the new BIOS update and it's something that you guys have been asking for, a mark switch. Just go into the BIOS and that's where you can toggle the mark switch and use the laptop on dedicated graphics alone, bypassing the integrated GPU on the CPU. And with that, you can basically expect increased frame rates across all your games. In general, we are looking at about 10% increase in frame rates across the board without you even doing anything, honestly. It's just the way it works. But for RTX titles, it's actually kind of unique in a sense that we actually didn't experience that much increase in frame rates. And we would say that's more to do with the RTX 3060 alone, having lesser tensor cores compared to the 3070 or 3080. But for standard rasterization, a 10% increase across the board. So free performance at the exact same temperatures with the only sacrifice being battery life. Depending on your use case, it might be a no-brainer. But now back to the second point that we were talking about. If updating the BIOS is all that's needed for you to fix the issues that you are facing, that's great. But if you're still facing thermal issues even after the BIOS update, we would highly suggest you reinstall Alienware Command Center. In our case, even after the BIOS update, Alienware Command Center was still a little funky and it definitely messed up the performance and fan profiles, which led to higher than usual temperatures. But even after a reinstall, it was still the same, so we were forced to do a reformat of the system with a fresh install of Windows. That fixed everything for us. Hopefully, the BIOS update is enough for you guys who own this laptop. 
But if you do notice that temps didn't change, you might want to reinstall Alienware Command Center or do a full reformat. That should solve it for sure. So in the end, a short and simple fix for the Dell G15 Ryzen Edition. All you really gotta do is to update to the new BIOS and install or reinstall Alienware Command Center. That's about it. Do those and you're good to go. So with that said, this laptop is now a really awesome gaming laptop. It not only has the performance, but now it has thermals and it's still at a very good price like before. It really is a value that it's very hard to pass up, especially if you're looking for a laptop with an RTX 3060 inside. So hopefully that helped and for those of you who already own this laptop and were encountering those issues, hopefully it really helped you. And for those of you who recommended all these solutions to us, thanks for your help, we really appreciate it. And all in all, we can now just say that we can definitely wholeheartedly recommend this gaming laptop, 100%. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.